The Mario movie trailer just released yesterday, and wow, there's so much to unpack here. So quickly, let's take a look at the things I loved from the trailer and the things that, you know, weren't so great. And also, if I missed something, be sure to leave a comment telling me what I missed, and I'll be sure to heart it so other Mario fans can learn from you as well. All right, let's get with it. So first of all, we get a good look at Bowser. What is his ship? Or is it looks like a floating island, but he's also using it as his ship. It's kind of cool. It's like a bunch of lava and stuff, but my favorite part about this is when it drops down you see all the koopas it reminded me of like something like like star wars or dune like them, they're all set up in their troops and then bowser's walking down and like almost felt like darth vader-esque him just walking down speaking of bowser jack black killed his voice acting honestly best actually hammock is a little better but we just got like a little snippet of that but jack black i think knocked it out of the park he's got the perfect like it's scary but it's also like it's mario so it's gotta have a little fun in there so you know it's it doesn't take itself too serious he doesn't take himself too serious but i think it's actually really really solid moving on from that like i said the kamek voice actor he did some things in like the simpsons i'm pretty sure i think he did an amazing job i can't wait to see more of kamek in the actual mario movie and then after that we get to see none other than the cool cool mountain penguins bro <laughs> super mario 64 is my favorite 3d mario game controversial take uh, around these parts but the penguins oh my god they're so iconic i can't believe we actually got them in the movie i i would have never expected it. and even in the trailer like i feel like there's so many more <sighs> I, I sucks to say it because i love the penguins but i feel like there's so many more like iconic characters you could have pulled but i guess it makes sense because all the other characters they're enemies the penguins are enemies so it was kind of hard for them to come up with another group of like characters or i don't even know what to say that could be in that position so I, I think they did the right choice here i think having the cool cool mountain penguins great now let's talk about the actual animation for a second take a look at this shot from the cool cool mountains penguins look at this it looks so fluffy the the, the detail they put into the animation is insanity you look at the little sparkles in the snow you see the little lakes of uh on, not the flakes, feathers on the penguins. You see the little hairlines on uh, on Bowser, and you see his facial expression. It's it's so colorful, it's so vibrant, and it's so well detailed. And for an illumination film, like I just didn't expect this. So so far, everything looks great. Voice acting, great. I, the comedy with the whole they're throwing snowballs, great. We move to the Mario portion of this trailer, second scene, and I gotta be honest, I cannot stand Chris Pratt's voice in this. He, he does. It, he, do, he doesn't even try to have a Mario voice. I, I swear, like you hear one point when he's walking out, like at the very end of the scene, but it's literally just his Chris Pratt voice from the Lego movie. And it's, it, there's nothing, there's no difference. There's a lot of energy, which, you know, you got to have for Mario, which I think the movie will be fine. I'll just have to get over this point. But it's weird not hearing Charles Martinet play Mario. And then after that, we got like the actual Mario look. And, you know, people on Twitter, I think were a little bit too harsh on this. I think I think it doesn't look terrible. Of course, his face is a little more round than I expect Mario to be. But, you know, that comes with having to have big expressions for his like, you know, you know, when the original Captain America Civil War trailer came out, people were freaking out over the Spider-Man eyes because they moved and like why is that happening but you know in the comics they had to show expressions with the way his eyes opened and they needed to show that in the movies you look at the old spider-man movies when they had their mask on they never showed expressions so they always had to take their mask off during battle to like you know oh there's a person under there. but anyways circling back having mario be a little bit more chubby i think works well here just so, so his eyes have a little more space to like show expression and see this one shot when he gets scared from toad i think i think it looks great and then keegan michael key playing toad you know it's fine. I think it's high energy. They definitely couldn't have done that. I'm told blah, blah, blah. they couldn't do that. I'm sorry. They just couldn't. And then after that, you see them walking off towards Peach's castle. Bro, these mushrooms look so soft. Oh my God. I, I want to buy one as a pillow. Like they look like something I could sleep on. It looks, I, I'm not sure how to feel about it. Like as a movie sense, but just as it is, it looks great. I I, I think number one, the animation, it, it just looks, everything about this movie just looks so beautiful just i'm just not sure about the voice acting and i think that was everybody's biggest concern coming into this and
and I don't know. I think honestly, we'll get over it. It'll take a little bit of time to get used to, but you know, I'm not too worried. It's kind of like what Th Thomas said this in, uh, I think the podcast, if you want to go check it, it's in Nintendo tonight. He talked about how when we saw Odyssey for the first time, everybody was freaking out that Mario was like in the real world with like real humans. And it took a while for everybody to get used to that, but you know, we got used to that. We got over it. And now when I play Odyssey, I don't even think about it. It's like, oh, he's in New Donk City. What, what is there to expect? So I think all of that will take a little bit of time to get used to. And then circling back to one more thing from the last scene with Bowser, I love that they're bringing stars into this. I think, you know, they got to have a MacGuffin. You know, what what are you going to have as the main driver of the actual plot? Having the stars of all things is just ingenious. I, I, I love that. I think that was so, so great. Um, We still don't know where Peach is or what Peach is doing so far. We didn't get to see, what's her name? Anya Taylor-Joy's voice acting. I think that'll be pretty good. Oh, also from the leaked uh, renders of Mario from the like McDonald's leak, you can actually see Peach right there. I think Peach looked great. But yeah, everything up to that point was great. We got to see the little teaser at the end with Luigi. I think uh, Chris Day did a great job with his voice acting. My main problems are Mario. I think Toad is, I don't think there's a problem. I think Keegan Mike he did fine. But Mario, you know, we'll just have to get used to it. He's got a little bit of an accent in there, but not really much. Really just Chris Pratt. And then finally, this may be my favorite part of the actual movie. The person doing the soundtrack is working with Koji Kondo, the guy who created iconic themes from Mario and Zelda and many more Nintendo games that I can't name off the top of my head. One of my favorite stories about Koji Kondo is that he actually created the Legend of Zelda theme in one night because they had a problem with the other theme they were going to use, which had like copyright issues or something. He's a mastermind and having him working alongside the Illumination team and creating a great soundtrack for this game is just, it's beautiful. I'm so excited to see this movie. I think I'm coming into the trailer. I was feeling very, very nervous, but you know, I think a lot of that was quelled after seeing this. Seeing Miyamoto just like gleaming, like he he seemed so, so excited about this. Be coming out April 7th, 2023. Bro, I don't even know what to say. I'm super stoked for this uh, movie. If you are too, please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. We're trying to hit 150. 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I think we're like 10k away. Maybe a little bit over the top, but you know, you want to help us get there? Why not? If you don't, that's fine. That's about all I have to say. So I hope you have a good day. All right. See you guys. Bye.